Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today is the third and final Marvel Legends Monday figure for the time being. This is the Red Guardian figure from Black Widow. Unlike last week's figure of Katie, I've actually seen the movie before making this review, so I can actually talk about it. And that's why I got the figure. Black Widow was a decent movie. It wasn't great. It wasn't bad. It was just kind of so-so. It was definitely an homage to old school Bond movies uh, with some good side characters or secondary characters rather. Uh, Yelena, I think, stole the whole movie and second place was Alexi. As it says here on the box, Alexi, I'm going to mispronounce this, Shostakov is a super soldier and spy who has lived a lifetime of triumph during the Cold War. Uh, in the figures, uh, Alexi is Black Widow's original husband. Um, and he eventually dies, and some other Red Guardians have taken over. In the movie, he is Natasha's fake father. Um, and I think he's fantastic in the movie. He brings a lot of very much-needed sadness and comedy to the role. They definitely play him up as kind of like a buffoon or an idiot, but you can tell there's a tragic story to him. But enough about the box, and let's take a look at the figure. The figure, as you can see here, unlike last week's figure, and especially Loki, he can actually stand up on his own. That's right. Unlike some of these other recent Marvel Legends figures, this one can stand. It's a marvel of modern technology and engineering, my friends. A toy and action figure who can stand on his own. Uh, as far as accessory goes, he comes with part of Red Guardian. I ain't going to keep that. That'll be on eBay soon, so do keep an eye on my eBay channel. And then he comes with his shield. Now, the shield you can either store in his back like this or on his arm with this. So while I go ahead and put this on his back, we'll take a look at the figure here. And my one complaint, my very, very, very one complaint, you don't have an alternate head. You don't get that mask. I like the mask. But this is a very good-looking figure. It looks like the actor, they could have done a little bit more gray in the beard, maybe a little bit more disheveled, more like my beard, um, but it looks good. Uh, he does have standard marble articulation at this point. We should know what we're talking about. Ab crunch, waist rotation, legs. Unlike the past two figures, he can actually pose a little bit. Loki's all fault is he'll fall over. He's too thin and wiry, but as far as he goes, this is definitely a good looking figure, and I'm I'm actually very impressed. Um, if Halloween was going to exist this year, and I doubt it will at this point, I would have dressed up as Red Guardian, I think. I am definitely somebody who appreciates that character. But as you can see, it does look good. And again, like I said before, unlike some other recent figures, he can stand. He can stand, which means he can also be posed, which means he's actually kind of worth it. Um, as you can see in the back here, you do have the cross product cell, but I ain't getting any of them. Maybe Yelena. But here we go. It looks good. Again, it's a Marvel Legends figure, so there ain't much to talk about. I knocked him over there. That wasn't him. But as you can see, it is a good looking figure, and it will look good on your shelf, especially if you are a fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, that's it for this video. Please comment down below, hit like, hit subscribe, tell me what you like, what you didn't like, and tell me what you're looking forward to seeing or what you want to see from this channel. Um, again, I do have some really cool things coming up. I'm going to be posting a little bit less and less because, let's face it, I can't afford to keep buying all this stuff. So I'll probably go back and look at some more retro things. I know we've talked about that before. But again, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.